quarter life crisis aversion prevention intervention with an almost finished finished cup of Americano in the middle of the night at my in-laws house. I will be moving and consolidating all of my documents, pages from all over the place. I have a lot of stuff on my phone, a lot of notes on my phone. I have a lot of notes on my cloud storage. I have like papers of goals into an organized and neat app called Notion. This video is brought to you by Notion. Notion is a free app that is deemed the best productivity app that is both aesthetic but easy to use on any device. Work through my realignment with my content plans, life plans, goals, and more. This is also a really great interface for team collaboration and projects. As I do currently have everything everywhere, let's first separate my team landing page with my personal landing page. I'm gonna go to all team spaces and there is a general team space here, but I think I will make a new team space and just call this maybe just my name. <laughs> It'll be nice if I can make something for the family or something, I don't know, we'll see. This is a template that my friend and working partner Finding Mimi Vlogs on TikTok had recommended me. It's made by that girl Mel3 on TikTok. I also wanna thank my friend with Love Linda on TikTok as well, who had actually introduced me to Notion. This template is also really cute. I think I'm going to use one each, like one for my team and one for myself. It might be helpful for me to have two workspaces. I don't know. We're figuring it out as we go. There's also these widgets that you can add to your Notion pages that allows you to see a clock or see the weather or even see an overview of your Google Calendar. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, <laughs> even though it looks chaotic. I think I can make it work. <laughs> this is nice as well. You can kind of see it in a list view like this. I also don't know every feature on Notion, so I'm super grateful that Notion has an intro that we can find at notion.so slash help slash start here. For some background, I was diagnosed with major depressive disorder at the beginning of 2020, and my psychiatrist deemed that it was likely to have started in my childhood. I think working through healing my mind, soul, and heart, and also body has really put my tasks and productivity planning on the back burner where I'm just constantly on backup mode. I work on the spot when I need it and when I must because I've been prioritizing my health a lot these past three years. I'm so grateful that I could be at a place where mentally and emotionally I can put my work way ahead of me through organization, planning, content planning, and reorganizing my life this way so that I can stay on top and ahead of my mental health and my work health. Plus all the to-do lists I have when it comes to the kids, my health, work, notes, my school, studies, everything. I just named this Mimi Park. And I think I'm gonna reserve this one for my work team. This template was made for school, but I think I will reorganize it to add all of my personal goals and just personal notes plus my school notes. I am currently still working on my business degree and I think I might go back to beauty school as well. But I've recently discovered a book through one of my professors. His name is Professor Tony Gentilucci and the book is called Procrastinate on Purpose. It's by Rory Vaden and it's filled with wisdom and gold talking about seasons in your life and living to work in imbalance for the perfect balance in order to hyper focus. It's almost like working intuitively to both your body and your mind in order to rest and refuel yourself to get the full 200% when duty calls. One way I like to do this is to fully immerse myself in 
the rest that I'm engaging in at that moment. It almost is like living in the present completely so that I can fully focus on the now and not feel guilty or blame myself. Though I still do that even though I shouldn't. <laughs> I do it less now, much, much less. For example, when I'm scrolling through the internet or reading my fiction, I've been encouraging myself to invest in my emotional and mental rest instead of being like, oh, I'm procrastinating, I'm procrastinating, shame on me. It's more like, good job for resting, good job for finding inspiration, for seeking inspiration. This is a time when I can turn my brain off and refuel both my inspiration and creativity. Essentially, procrastinating on purpose and for a purpose to learn and to be inspired and to rest as well is what procrastinating on purpose means. I have kind of formatted my team landing page here. I just called it board, but um, I made the color scheme kind of more soft and I have all of my pages. So if I click into content tracker, then there's gonna be this template here. I'm planning to fill out these pages as I go. For example, my production assistance page or my video editing page, to-do list. I haven't filled these out because I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna put in here yet. I will also update you with how my personal Notion page turns out. Another way you can procrastinate on purpose is to actually go on a walk. This has been super helpful for myself and for my husband, Michael. We do this all the time, especially when we're feeling grummy. When you're feeling like grumpy and crummy at the same time. <laughs> I literally just made that up. You actually physically need a breather, especially when your brain and your body is fried. Just kind of taking a purposeful procrastinating five minutes outside or even in the hallway of your building or the washroom or walking around the office space. We can do so much for our mood, our body, our circulation, our workflow, our brain juices. It's a win-win situation. I think all our lives we've been guilted to think that when we take breaks, we're being actually unproductive. But the purpose of procrastinating on purpose is to actually become more productive and more efficient due to the fact that efficiency is not bound by the amount of time that you spend doing a task but rather how much focus and how much of an outcome you can actually produce in the end how you customize your purposeful procrastinating or organization is really going to depend on your unique self which is why i think it's so cool that notion has so many different templates and the community puts out so many different templates out there with different widgets that you can combine. So I'll leave some links to these templates that I did use in the description down below. You can also find out how to sign up for Notion for free and access all these features for free. Thank you to our friends at Notion who have created and have constantly been innovating each of our lives through this incredible app. Customized, organized, and peaceful space for all of us. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.